So Kroger Precision Marketing is six years old. So it's been around for six years. I would say we're in the toddler kindergarten days and continuing to evolve. Um, and there's a bit of a myth with cro or retail media networks. Sometimes when people think retail media, they tend to go all the way down to the conversion of um, just lower funnel activations and using data to help drive um, immediate ad sales. And um, it's really evolved how we've leveraged the data. So in the early days, it was around like more couponing offers and leveraging the data for promotions. And since then, it's in evolved into leveraging Kroger's first party data for connected TV activations. We have a partnership with Roku, we're testing with Hulu, we're working now with the Trade Desk. And so um, it's definitely been an evolution of how people are leveraging Kroger's first party data. Can you? One of the things that's interesting is that retail media is not necessarily going to be just for stuff you can buy in the store long term. Can you talk about some of the, what the areas you're exploring outside the category and the traditional usage? Yes. So with Kroger, I think when people think about Kroger, they think about the groceries sold in Kroger. And so we have the relationships with the General Mills, with the Canagra, and um, those relationships, we will always continue to um, partner with those brand, CPG brands. And how retail is media is evolving, we're now expanding our uh, partnerships beyond CPG. And so we're talking to companies from insurance advertisers, QSR advertisers, auto advertisers, because you think about Kroger, yesterday there were 11 million transactions that um, happened across the US, and that's both brick and mortar stores and e-commerce and Kroger has a loyalty card that's been around for over 20 plus years and 96% of those transactions are connected to this loyalty card. So there's hundreds of thousands of signals happening um, every single day that can be really helpful as we think about a QSR client and we think about them launching a new chicken sandwich and so we can tell them yesterday how many individuals were buying frozen chicken or um, complementary categories to a chicken sandwich. So there's a lot of signals that we can leverage that help us understand, is this a new family? Is this a family um, that might be um, starting to buy a new home? And that could be a really attractive information for an insurance company. Um, so we're in the early days, but really excited to expand beyond CPG. You've decided to decouple your data from media, media and advertising executions, which is unusual in this walled garden era we're in. Can you talk about what went into that and what, what the potential is there? I would say we've been on a programmatic journey and what Kroger has done a really good job on, I would say, is just really listening to the marketplace, listening to our CPG partners, listening to the advertisers and really understanding what needs to be true in order for us to really partner in bigger, bigger ways. And one of our purposes is how do we make lives easier for our partners and for our customers? And um, we are launching with the Trade Desk an opportunity where we are decoupling, like you said, um, and you can go into the Trade Desk out of your, your brand seat, your advertiser seat, and apply our data out of that seat. You're not having to go to a Kroger seat. This will be right out of the advertiser seat and you can leverage our Kroger targeting. And we will also do daily measurement so you can see every single day that sales impact of that programmatic buy. You mentioned television. What's the potential there? You're experimenting a lot with different partners. Is the future about buying things through your television set, using shopper data to track off offline purchases, a little bit of both? Where's that going? I would say at the core, our purpose and role is to make advertising more relevant. And so using Kroger's first party data, you're able to really personalize that message, whether it's on a TV, connected TV, whether it's online video or display. And so we wanna make sure that when we are serving those ad impressions, it's going to the right person and it's relevant. You think about um, how many ads you might have had or been received for a dog food company, and you might not have a dog at home, or maybe you're a vegetarian and we're serving you a meat ad. <laughs> That's a wasted ad impression. And so as we think about leveraging Kroger's first party data, it's to make customers feel special. It's to make um, sure that they're uniquely receiving an ad that is relevant because we know that uh, when you're served a relevant ad, it's gonna drive a better outcome.
And so that's really the premise of how we can uh, make advertising more effective, but also eliminate wasted ad impressions. Lastly, you've got some news this week, news this week with partnership with Scope 3. Can you talk about what that's about and where that's headed? Yeah, this is, we are so thrilled about this partnership. Kroger is the first retail media partner to have a partnership with Scope 3. And this really takes our level of eliminating ad waste, um, takes it to the next level. So not only do we want to personalize messaging to our customers, but we also want to do what's better for the environment. And we firmly believe that you can truly have the most effective ad impression if, number one, it's relevant to that end consumer, but also it's um, not only driving a business outcome forward for our brands, but it's also doing something better for the planet. And we are we at the early days of this partnership, but uh, thrilled to be the first retailer to partner.